Manitoba. This isn't a province I've talked a lot about. I've only made one other video about the province of Manitoba, but that's going to change today. If you're considering a move to Canada, you may have stumbled across the province of Manitoba, or maybe the city of Winnipeg, or maybe even Brandon. While Manitoba certainly has its own charm, there are a few reasons why it may not be the best fit for everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing five reasons why you should not move to Manitoba. Now, as always, although this is a negative style of video, I'm telling you why you shouldn't, it doesn't mean it's not the right place for everyone. Every place has its good and its bad, Manitoba is no different. So let's get right into it. Five reasons why you should not move to Manitoba. Number one, extreme weather conditions. So first and foremost, Manitoba is known for its extreme weather conditions on both sides of the hot and cold scale. The winters in Manitoba are long, bitterly cold, and accompanied by heavy snowfall. Temperatures can drop below minus 30 degrees Celsius regularly, which is minus 22 Fahrenheit. And this makes it challenging to go about your daily activities during the winter months. Additionally, the summers can be sweltering hot with high humidity levels. If you prefer a more moderate climate, Manitoba may not be the ideal choice for you as the climate, like I said, moves to both sides of the extreme categories. Number two, limited access to high speed internet. Now, while in 2023, this problem is slowly going away and we've seen a lot of progress in the last few years, Manitoba still faces challenges when it comes to high speed internet. While internet connectivity is available in most areas of the province, there are still pockets of the province where the internet infrastructure may be limited or unreliable. This can be a crucial factor to consider, especially if you rely heavily on stable and fast internet connection for work, online learning, or just entertainment purposes. And let's be honest, in this day and age, most of us do rely on internet connection. Before making the decision to move to Manitoba, ensure that the internet services in your desired location meet your requirements. Number three, higher crime rates. Talking about crime rates is kind of a touchy topic because generally speaking, Manitoba is a very safe place to live. However, it does have some areas with higher crime rates compared to other provinces or other regions in the country. The city of Winnipeg has the third highest homicide rate in the country behind only Regina and Thunder Bay. The overall homicide rate in Manitoba is 4.41 per 100,000 people trailing only the province of Saskatchewan. Property crimes such as break-ins and theft can be more prevalent in certain neighborhoods depending on where you live. It is absolutely crucial to research the specific areas you're considering and take into account the crime statistics to ensure you choose a safe and secure community. Again, I want to state, crime rates can vary over time and across different areas within the same province. Some areas are totally fine, crime is non-existent, others not so much. So consult official crime data, local authorities, different websites, do your research for the most accurate and up-to-date information on whatever region of the province you're looking at. Number four, limited access to international travel. Let's discuss another reason why moving to Manitoba may not be the best fit for everyone. Manitoba's geographical location in the central part of Canada can result in longer travel times and limited direct flight options to international destinations. If you're someone who frequently travels abroad or desires convenient access to various international destinations, living in Manitoba may present you some challenges. I will note though, post-pandemic, there are a lot more flights that are coming back to the Winnipeg airport. You can get to various sun destinations and places in the United States direct nonstop from Winnipeg. It's important to consider your travel needs and whether you're comfortable with potentially longer journeys or layovers when planning your trips. So it's all personal preference, just decide what's best for you and if this might be something that bothers you if you were to move to Manitoba. Number five, mosquitoes and bugs. Last but not least, Manitoba is notorious for its mosquito and bug population, particularly during the warmer months of the year. Now, you've probably already heard this, but I'm going to repeat it for you again. The province's vast forest and wetlands provide a perfect breeding ground for these pests. 
If you're someone who's easily bothered by bugs or has allergies to mosquito bites, you might find the outdoor experience in Manitoba quite challenging and rather unpleasant. While Manitoba certainly offers its own unique advantages and attractions, such as its beautiful landscapes, friendly communities, and affordable housing options, it's important to consider all aspects before making a decision. I hope this video has provided you with some valuable insights into the reasons why you should not move to Manitoba. But remember, weigh the pros, weigh the cons, based on your personal preferences, needs, priorities, then you can make a decision. I'm the, I shouldn't be the one making the decision for you. Take what I've given you, research it, do your own background checks, stuff like that, and then come up with a proper conclusion. Until the next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get a new discussion going about Manitoba in the comment section. Until the next one, thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you next time.